What's good fam, it's your boy Dway's on Plays. You know the name, you know the face, you know the time, you know the place And today back again with a brand new React Matter of fact, we about to get into something I've been seeing across all socials Some slander being thrown upon the name of Nasty C Okay, they're saying uh, Wait, I can't even see what these shades are <laughs> Does Nasty C need to change his sound? Okay and there's another video I'm gonna react to. This is by P that G. There's another video by Brando Essay, okay, where he's talking about is Nasty C still national? We're gonna react to both videos in one combination, okay? Let's get into it, guys. Let's start. I don't wanna waste too much time. I was watching a recent episode of Chopping It with Buddha T titled Culture Chop with Zynga, Rishi uh, K, Chop. and Zynga's other brother Fox. Now they were discussing the recent states of Nasty C's career and how it could potentially improve. So I found what they had to say really interesting. So check what they had to say. As goated as Nasty C is, mm. meaning we recognize that he's very talented. Oh, this is Buddha's brother. Yo, he looks so much like him, bro. <laughs> Now these are brothers for real. He's dope. He's got all the potential, right? I just think the efforts that are put in place to to cross over to that side um, are almost not hitting because also Africa and South Africa is starting to mean something different to the world in the mm. international space. True. And when they hear of his origin and then they hear the music for them maybe as american people for american people maybe it's like i mean this is dope but where's the where's the african where's the you know so i think it's also shown um look at the response he had with lemonade with forbes right this is exactly what I was saying. I'm glad he said that because this is what I was saying. Nasty needs to get into that sound, bro. He needs to get onto that that you know, piano, Afro beat sound. Like he needs to fully explore it. I'm not saying he's never done it. Yes, he has doubled and dabbled in it, especially in his last project. He did, um, I forgot what the song's called, but there is like an Afro beat song. That one was like, dee -dee 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 -dee. you know, um, when I wanna hunt to find it When I wanna hunt when I love to find it I forgot what it's called But you know what song I'm talking about He needs to get into experimenting more with that Collabing more with African artists On that type of note Not like he did a, a collaboration with that Odam, Odam More Black or whatever his name is um, But that was a hip hop song And then he just put like an African-esque rapper on it You know what I'm saying um, Who carries the African vibes If you will um but yeah i think he needs to get into more songs like lemonade he needs to get into more songs like i th i don't know if that song's called forever or eternity i don't know what it's called but that 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 afro beat esque song in his project he needs to get into more of that type of uh feel of records i think just the hip-hop now hip-hop is kind of played out right now you know like especially man shut your bitch ass up um some of South Africa, his most South African his verse. His most South African. For me. And the one verse that I think people will hold up there more than any bars he could flip. People to love the most that quadruple verse. Quadruple and tundras or whatever. I think that for him was a. I for me would have taken it as a sign from God mm. or the music gods to say, bro, you actually still do have something that you could surprise the you people. You have not yeah. entered this pocket. Mm. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, for some reason, Nasty refuses to fully embrace that pocket. Like, he might double and dabble very lightly and slightly. You know, especially when he features on artists from uh, um, other parts of Africa. He will go more into that sound. But for his own music, like, he doesn't really um, invest so much in, in African-sounding music. You know what I mean? So, bro... I think I think I think he's gonna realize it now because a lot of people are saying this like nasty needs to switch up the sound like he needs to bring something new because I don't know we, we, we you know we need something else boy we need some fire bruh lately I don't know it doesn't mean fire dog and look how people appreciate this mm. how they respond to it. nasty's pen I think is unmatched his music making ability <coughs> is also unmatched, unmatched yeah. Yeah. you know there's I don't think up there with Forbes yeah I don't think definitely like making music is not a struggle for nasty so mm. 
I think it all lies in the music direction. I think that's why it's maybe not translating that side because when they hear African, it's worse now with piano having scorched the scene, yeah. that side. It's like if they hear that you're from Africa or South African, those are the elements they are looking for. Yeah. You know? So if they it. hear you mm -hmm. sounding like someone from out here, I don't think they would be eager to jump into that because it's like, oh, we, we kind of know this. I think there's of... a slight disconnect. Obviously, mm -hmm. when you're in gold status, you've these, these fans and people have grown up with you in their life. So they always respect and regard you and check you out. But Okay, I just wanted to quickly pause there and just just say that, yeah, I, I completely agree that making music is not the problem with Nasty. Nasty could still make good music. He still makes good music. It's just the music he's making is not really resonating at the moment, you know? Um, I felt like I had another point, but whatever. whatever. I think even my point that time when I was saying that the, the moves and the music maybe is not hitting the way it did is because there is a bit of a disconnect because and that's it's it's natural it's going to happen not because of how long you've been here because if you think about it these guys also that's another thing i feel like has happened to drake where he gets to this point in life where you become goated you become this you know big figure in your industry one of the top figures and i think because of all the praise the comfortability you know, now that you're up and everyone's like, oh, Nasty's the guy. I think now is when the laziness begins to come in. And when I say laziness, I don't mean like he's lazy, he's not working or anything. I just mean that like the creativity, the hunger, the drive starts to die down. You're not as hungry to prove a point. You're more so hungry just to keep eating and providing. You know, you're not so hungry to be like, damn, I got to make it. I got to change my life. I got to, he's happy. He's good. And I think with nasty there's just a lack of motivation to really you know uh, um rediscover his passion for music like i don't think he's passionate anymore like i think he still loves music he still likes making music but that passion that fire that that thing that make you want to discover new sounds that makes you want to you know that thing you used to have like i want to go on a, go overseas i want to work with everybody it's that fire i don't know if nasty still has that you know he might still but i just think even with having a child and, and, and this new sect and segment of Nasty C's life, I think it's, 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 it's just a lot of adjusting for him right now. You know what I mean? I think he's just trying to adapt to his new life as a father, you know, as a artist who feels as though they want to break internationally, but the chips are not falling in that manner. Um, so yeah, with Nasty, music is not the problem. It's, 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 it's the sound, bro. The sound just needs to evolve. You guys are approaching 10 years in the game. Crazy. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. It. Uh, it's crazy. As young as, as the imagine. kids who are the new kids then. These guys mm. are approaching 10 years in the game. Yeah. So we've seen all the tricks. We've seen their best work. Mm. And I think when you start aiming to, to, to hit another level or to change a gear, there's a lot you have to consider and apply, you know? So maybe your, your super hip hop persona and bravado has to kind of die. Treat it like a drizzy, you know. I look at Nancy like that, like he's a drizzy. He can mm. give me all kinds of tropical yeah, songs of and RB. He's had an RB hit. He has yeah. RB hits. Mm. His biggest song is an RB hit. So, and he can always have. Wait, Nasty's biggest song is an RB hit? Oh, SMA. Yeah, that's true. SMA, I think it's definitely Nasty's biggest song. Send me away. Send me away the rap shit in the album yeah dog he was doing freestyles when he goes to the state does his freestyle we all know killing ability, the freestyles mm. you know we all know his ability and it's not that the people that side aren't necessarily seeing it like if a chris brown can take his freestyle and post it and if he can so get they all know these, they are aware of yeah. him it's just i don't think that's what they are looking for when they hear an yeah. african or zulu man with some power you know what I'm saying? They associate that with Africa. So they want to be like, but where's the African? Yabo? Mm. So I think, I think the, the, the lemonade for me was a from God to yeah, say, to my brother, lemonade. this is. So they mentioned quite a few interesting things, right? The first being that despite I Love It being a really good album from Nasty, it just didn't resonate and connect with fans according to Zynga and the crew, which has sort of left them in a tricky position. I will say that, um, Nasty's last album kind of feels like it was more of a personal project. It was more of something that I feel like he had to do for himself, not necessarily for the listeners. It's something I feel like he wanted to make it and listen back to it. 
and be like, this is what I wanted to make, you know? I don't feel like necessarily had any people's uh, preferences in mind. I don't think he had any sort of vibe he wanted to go for directly. I think he just created and did what he wanted to do. Unfortunately, it just, it just didn't really resonate with the masses. They also mentioned that even though he's been in the industry for so long, almost 10 years, the music that he's been coming out with won't necessarily push him to be the artist he wants to be internationally. Now, Fox mentioned that the efforts that Nasty has been putting in musically to cross over to the US, while it's just not hitting, and that's because there's a certain sound that Americans expect from South Africans, or just Africans in general, which Nasty doesn't make. Now, Fox brought up Lemonade with AKA, and how that's been his most South African verse which got a big response compared to his usual sound that is more american they also mentioned that his international aspiration has sort of created a disconnect with the audience locally and they also spoke on nasty changing his musical direction and actually using lemonade as a blueprint to change his sound if he really wants to prosper internationally Facts. now do i agree with what they said well, honestly, I do, but only to a certain extent. I mean, I'm sure in the US there's a bunch of niggas on the come up who are just as good as Nasty in terms of rapping ability. So if Nasty's gonna try to be successful in that market, he would need to separate himself from the rest of the crowd and bring something new sonically. So if a song like Lemonade or Particular are two of his biggest songs and they aren't hip hop in a traditional sense, then it would stand reason for him to switch his sound. Now, it's no secret that Nasty should be the biggest rapper. Actually, the biggest export from South A and he is to a certain level I mean some of the biggest artists from the US know about Nasty with him actually rubbing shoulders with them in person as well as some of the biggest YouTube reactors from the US playing his music videos and freestyles so he's made his presence known that side but his efforts aren't hitting the way that we would like to see and I'm sure he expects more as well now whether that comes down to himself or his sound or Def Jam just not pushing him correctly while that remains to be a big debate now someone who has consistently spoken about now i just want to say in terms of the whole def jam shandies i think i've spoken on so much of this before i feel like i'm repeating myself that's why i don't really want to keep stopping but i will say in terms of def jam yeah look man i just think when it comes to the whole def jam thing i just think def jam don't really know what to do with nasty i don't really think they understand how to even market him how to even get him out there you know um as a hip-hop act but like everyone is saying, like if he were to do more content that's relatable to South Africa in his music, I think it would just it would it would work in his favor, even overseas, because overseas are looking for that South R sound right now. They're looking for that. There's a vibe that's coming from South R that Nasty needs to get on. He will be the biggest artist in South R up there with Tyler, bro. If he if he comes to more Afro vibes, more you know piano vibes, like. I don't know why niggas are so proud. Like, oh, me, I'll never do piano. I'm hip hop dog. Hip hop dog. Uh. Dog, bro. Like, it's music, bro. It's music. Use music as a vessel to get you to where you want to get to, bro. Like, it's the same thing Drake did. Like, Drake was like, he didn't hold back on switching genres and trying new things, even that he had never tried before, because he understood that, okay, this is the sound right now. Let me try and uh, uh, equate myself to it. You know, people call it culture vulture. It's music, bro. Like, if you're going to say culture vulture, then think of all the culture vultures in SA Hip Hop then, because we basically took the source from the US. Then we, we all are culture vultures in SA Hip Hop then. So I don't think it's fair to say that. I think culture vulture really comes when you legit come to a culture and you, 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 you take the music and the sound and you claim it as your own. You make it as if it's yours, bro. You don't... Like when when you do it respectfully, you're paying homage, you're putting the guys on, you're featuring with the guys, you're going to their hoods, you know, you're touching blood with their homies, their producers. That's that's when you're taking from the culture and using it to provide or benefit yourself and benefit the culture as well. But when you go there and you just debo the sound and you don't even tap in then that's a problem. But I feel like this is a sidetrack. I, I, I'll be sidetracking sometimes. About Nasty's career and been overly critical about it is Nota. Now, Nota has always said that the likes of Nasty and Reese need to stop sounding American and sound more local kind if they have point. aspirations of breaking into the US market whilst making an impact. Now, surprisingly... And quickly, you notice that the people who are breaking in the US are not rappers, are not rappers. They're not SA rappers, bro. They're not SA hip-hop guys. They're piano, they're... 
the Afrobeat guys, the the uh, uh, Afro tech guys. You know, these are guys just doing something unique to South A or Africa in general. They're not just taking hip hop and saying, "Oh, this is our version of hip hop." You know, so enough he actually gave props to nasty for his verse on lemonade so despite being harsh on nasty majority of the time i guess in hindsight nota actually did have a point with wanting him to sound more local or at least adapt a more local sound to his music now even though he's dabbled in afro beats r and pop nota in a sense is like kanye <laughs> you know everybody 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 gets pissed off irritated and annoyed by him but sometimes he be spitting facts you can't deny Regardless of the messenger, sometimes the way it comes out of Nota might not be the best way, but you can't hide that he'd still be dropping facts, bro. I said this in the last video too. Pop, I do remember that there was a time when Nasty blatantly refused to do I'm a piano. I'm a piano, I'm, me, I'm a piano, nah. Nah, 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 hell nah. I, I... You see, that's the thing about rappers, bro. SA rappers, too cool, bro. Too cool. Nah, I'll never do it. I'm a piano dog. Nah, even though hip hop is re losing relevance, I'll never do that, bro. You know, and it's cool. Stay loyal, stay faithful to hip hop. Like, of course, bro. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, bro, like move smart. Like, look at how the biggest artists in the world are moving. They never stick to one genre, bro. Beyonce, all these people, Abu, um, Nicki Minaj, Drizzy, uh, Ashers, the, the artists. Chris Brown, the artists who have had long careers have never stuck to one sound. Never. They've never looked at a sound or looked down upon a sound. Bro, if Chris Brown will even do Afro beats, how could Nasty C as a South African deny I'm a piano? Like, just think about that for a second. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. As South Africans, we, we be bougie about our own shit, bro. Instead of all banding together and be like, yo, this is our thing. Let's all come together and push this thing. We're like, ah, you, you yellow guys stay that side. Us hip hoppers, we're going to be here. Gonna hold it down the side, all right? Cool. Be a fan of my piano from a distance. Keep me out of that conversation, though. You see? Keep this this is gonna come it. back to bite him, bro. This is gonna come back if to bite him. If any one of my fellow artists are in here, like artist friends and stuff, and you had a my piano song, you were thinking I would go well on it, kill that idea right now. Arrogance. This is what arrogance is is, is blazing through. Look at the numbers, numbers are dropping. I'm a piano's numbers are going up. Huh? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't do it to yourself. I hate declining stuff, especially people I know. Just don't make me do it, man. Just don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Don't do it, man. Do not do it. This is one of the dumbest decisions you could make, bro. Like, I've, I've seen the light, bro. I've seen the light. This thing of being too cool to try new things is not going to get you anywhere, bro. It'll just make you stagnant and make you like, oh, Peter Zellering, like, oh, Tata Zellering, yo, what's going on? You know? But yeah, I love my piano, man. It comes with a different type of energy, bro. Like, you can't fucking, you can't fake that. I would be faking it if, if I did, but you can't fake that, though. Just look at it. From How? The distance You're an head. artist. You know, be a fan, support. Uh -huh. yeah, keep it pushing. You can talk. That's exactly what I'm nah, doing. Nah, nah, that's the. I'm hip hop to the core, but that's not what, that's not what I'm like totally zoned in, like lasered on. You know what I mean? Like I still do a little bit of pop. Um, I tell you what, I make a house music song before I make a I'm a piano song because my because of my background, it'll make more sense. I'm from Durban. Uh, my big brother taught me how to use. You're from South Africa, bruh. You're from South Africa, where I'm a piano was created. What are you talking about? FO Studio taught me how to make beats and he used to make house music. So that's how I started making beats. Making house house music piano? Music. Come on, bro. So I make house music. Same bracket. Piano. Really kind of. Piano is like mostly inspired by dance. I don't know. I guess you'd say quiet through a bit. Hey? That's not really my background. You know? I'm a, I'm a piano is like hip hop. Like it he's changed his tone a bit. All, all this all the truth. Afro beats and I'm a piano are better than hip hop. Like music wise. Music wise, bro, let's call a spade a spade. You can't make man. this shit up, bro. I mean, of course, there's some songs where it's like auto tune heavy. This nigga's not saying shit, he's just saying nyash a bunch of times. But live instruments, bro, original melodies, niggas who can actually sing. Local original music, sounding bro. flavor. Their music lost forever. Hip hop, 
we sample a lot i'm not being ungrateful to hip-hop i love hip-hop i am hip-hop to the core i am hip-hop till i die hip-hop we are here playing this weird game where it's like everyone is fake rich everyone is fake balling everyone is fake gangster i'm sick and tired of hearing a nigga speaking about spending in these songs like what are you you're not spending nothing stop it though shut the fuck up this can't make this shit up look look i told you you plan to do it in your piano because if he dies <laughs> After this guy teaches me how to dance. Yeah. Cause like he was dancing on stage. That's my biggest problem. You know, imagine I drop my I'm a piano so, uh, album and I can't perform it. You know what? There's kid <laughs> actually dance. The other day he was fooling around in the club. I was like, there it is. I know when I was sitting. It's different when I'm sitting. It's, it's different. Right? Like you can still do yeah, it. Yeah. But, like, but that's. But he's smart to notice that. Yeah, I probably was wrong, and I probably should think about, you know. Delving more into piano, testing those waters. Okay. Yeah, man. What's beautiful about my piano is like anyone can feel or look like they can dance. It's just like simple moves. So I'm trying to get him to like mess around with it some at some point. But right now it's like strictly hip hop. Right now. But he's open to it. So with a change in tone, we might actually see a change in sound. Now this all comes from a fan's point of view, wanting to see Nasty prosper to his fullest potential. So we as fans can only want so much for him. The question is, does he want that for himself? I mean, we all know that Nasty is super talented. The music he puts out is definitely undeniable, making him the biggest rapper in the country for a reason. Facts. But we all know he's capable of reaching greater heights instead of just staying stagnant. So hopefully with time, we get to see that. But you guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think Nasty C is in a tricky position with his career? And if so, do you think he needs to change his sound? Comment down below. Okay, so... In a nutshell, I think it is a bit tricky Nasty's career, but I think Nasty has worked himself to a position where I do not think he's falling off anytime soon, even if he were just to do hip hop. The numbers might go down. They might not be as, you know, dominating as they used to be. But I do think that, you know, um, Nasty is he's secure in this game, especially in South Africa, bro. He's good. Nasty's Nasty's like a legend to us already, bro. Like I won't even lie to you. He's not going anywhere. Um, but I do feel like in order for him to reach the goals and heights that he aspires to achieve. Yo, I'm just looking at the loudness of my mic, right? It's, it's probably so loud, bro. But howdy, anyway. Um, yeah, if he wants to achieve those heights, that upper echelon, he needs to, you know, he needs to think about really expanding his his palette when it comes to the music he indulges in or the music that he lets us indulge in from him you know but yeah guys i don't know if i'm gonna react to the other video because i already spoke so much on this video it might be too long i don't want to make a long video shot my brother plastic hey. we maneuvered obstacles hey. trying to keep our hospitals move as smart as possible have to be more conscious though a bit more philosophical